Well, welcome back, and we are back with my exclusive interview with IBM Chairman and CEO Ginny Rometty. And Ginny, you just said a few minutes ago, IBM is in 170 countries around the world. We just got a GDP report in the U.S. that shows growth of under 1%. Seven-tenths of a percent was the GDP. That was worse than expected. Characterize the world for us in terms of the economy right now. Where is the growth? Uh, well, look, I, I think everyone is looking for new areas for growth, and we're in a period of time when almost every company is trying to reinvent itself, uh, including as ourselves. We've been into our own transformation here. As we've evolved our core franchise businesses, we've built what is now the enterprise cloud, the enterprise cloud, at $14.7 billion, and we've built out, as you know, we were just talking about Watson. We are now the artificial intelligence platform for business. We'll touch a billion, comp a billion individual consumers by the end of the year in some way. And so I see this is rooted underneath our own transformation and it's going to get to what do I see around the world. It's really this belief that all of this data that we've talked about forever is actually going to make a difference and be the basis of competitive advantage. And I see no matter what industry you're in, everyone's trying to reinvent themselves in some way to take that and make it be their competitive advantage. And in fact, that's the root of our whole foundation of our, our transformation ourselves and what we do for companies is to help them be competitive in that era. If you're not looking behind you and saying, who's going to disrupt my business, you're probably not doing a good job because there's been a lot of disruption in every industry. A every industry. I remember. Yeah years ago, people would say to me, boy, IBM is, is having to change. And I'd say, be careful. This is coming to a theater near you. This That's is happening exactly right. every single industry, which it has. Yeah. And, but I do really believe this point that the future is going to be about uh, what we call cognitive, this idea that you are going to be able to take things and have systems that you don't program. They understand, they reason, they learn, and they are going to help and change every part of what you do in your business, your operations, your processes, your products you put out, your services you put out. To us, artificial intelligence, it's not a feature. I mean, this is a fundamental tenet of how this world's going to operate, and it'll be better for it. I want to go back to my question about the world and where the growth is, but, but you said AI, you have the AI platform for business. And it's really interesting that you say that. Explain what that means in terms of artificial intelligence. Yeah. What is it doing? How is it transforming and helping industry? Yes. So when I say the AI platform for business to touch a billion consumers in some way, there's three big things we do differently. One is that if you think about um, going to a public search engine, actually that only searches 20% of the data in the world. 80% is with companies. It's behind their own firewalls. It's their data. It's very rich in usage. So what we do with artificial intelligence is focus on that 80%, but it's vertical. It's domain. You have to know what it means to be a doctor, to be an underwriter, to be a financial person. Wow. You, and therefore, it is a very different. It's not speech to text. It's not asking where it's the weather. That is not what we're doing here. Very, we do that, but this is about, no, these are systems that actually understand what it is to be a doctor and then therefore can assist a doctor. And so we are looking at systems that have verticals, they're domain oriented. Second point is I think a really key point when it comes to making another company successful. A very deep belief in it. we've architected this so that when clients bring that precious 80% of the world's data that no one else has access to, we can assure them their insights belong to them. They don't go into some big area that makes one company rich and not anybody else. And I think we've seen how that has played out. So vertical in nature, assuring a client their insights are their own, and then what it is that you do all around that is got to do with the breadth of information that you see. So it isn't just text and images, it's sound, it's sight, it's motion, sensors that go into this. And therefore, when you change, so just yesterday, ABB announced through their manufacturing using Watson, Watson's actually assisting with manufacturing, looking at what defects are. Uh, you talked about General Motors earlier. General Motors with OnStar, Watson helping with patterns and what should you be doing when you're in the car through OnStar. Or if you look at healthcare, right. uh, boy, we have now gone through from oncology to genomics to clinical trial matching, assisting a doctor with what it is that they do in their, in their process. And this can H &R block, seconds. taxes were just done with assistance of Watson. Uh, and, this can and this can happen within seconds. I mean, it, what, what Watson is doing in terms of digesting and, 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 and spitting out information, it happens really quickly. It's pretty extraordinary. It, is this how you tap into growth? I mean, you know, you reported earnings a couple of days ago and black people were saying 29 straight quarters of revenue declining. This is an issue. Is is this the law of large numbers of a, it's not, a, it's not 29, but I think that is even... How many a, is it? It, it? That is even an insufficient way to describe us because that doesn't count 9 billion of divestitures, almost 9 billion divestitures, and $14 billion of currency in this 
point in time. So what it is is in our transformation, you see two dynamics playing out. You know well, we do the core mission critical systems of the world. Those may not be in growing markets, but they're really important and those are high value businesses. And to us, our business model has always been about value, not just size. If it was size, we right. would never have made all these divestitures. They were in high growing areas, by the way, the divestitures. Mm -hmm. So it's about always reinventing yourself. You move commoditizing businesses out, invest in the new. So you've got big core franchises we run, non -de in declining markets, right. but important. And then we built on top of that, the businesses of the cloud, of Watson, data analytics, which are now 33, 34 billion dollars in size, 42 percent of IBM, last quarter grew 13 percent. So those are built on top of those core franchises. So that's the dynamic, a, a steady, important, high value market that is important to clients and high value but not growing. And on top of that, then we built already in this short period of time that 34 billion dollars of businesses around cloud data analytics, Watson Cognitive Mobility Security. One of the great companies in the world continuing to reinvent itself. Thank you so much. Thank Jenny. you. Good to see you. Good. Jenny Rometty, IBM.